Well, new at five people in an East Tulsa neighborhood say they're on edge after a car smashed through a home during a gunfight. Fox 23 showed you this scene near 38th Street and Highway 169 is breaking news Saturday night. Only on Fox 23, Nina Carter is live with what some neighbors say they're doing following the shootout and crash. Nina. Shay, I talked to a mother who says Saturday convinced her she needs a gun, while others say they're considering just moving out of the neighborhood. I was just stuck in there like, oh my gosh, God, I'm about to die. While crouched in her closet, Mandy Brown says she dialed 911. After she was woken up by gunshots and someone trying to get into her house Saturday night. I didn't know what was going on. This is video I took when I first got to the scene near 38th and 169. Police say they believe there was a shootout between two cars when this one lost control and smashed into this house. The homeowner didn't want to talk on camera, but did give me these pictures of the extensive damage to the kitchen. They told me they were sleeping in a different part of the house when it happened. And luckily nobody was in the kitchen at that time because they could have been dead. Police say they found a gun and five shell casings in the middle of the street. Officers say there was a stolen gun in the backseat of the car along with two cell phones and a pair of black gloves. Well, it scared me even more because they're on foot now and obviously they found guns. They found six rounds. After crashing into the house, police say the suspects took off on foot and they were last seen running through the drain tunnel at the end of the street. Brown says knowing they haven't been caught yet is pretty unsettling. It's scary. Like, it's hard for me to lay my head down at night now because I don't know if they're going to come back here. Now, police say they did use the helicopter and canine officers to search for those suspects for more than an hour, but didn't find them. They say they're still investigating the case. Reporting live, covering news that matters. I'm Nina Carter, Fox 23 News.